Oh, hello. It, it's Mr. Pattinson here. Um, I'm, I'm visiting a, a tropical pet shop because I enjoy the musical notes that I hear from the birds when I come here. I find it relaxing and energizing. I appreciate these birds and the beautiful sounds that they make. They sound like whistles to me, and I thought this would be the perfect introduction to our next project, Clay Whistles. The birds enrich my life. I think the birds enjoy me being here because they seem to appreciate it, and I think that they enjoy our time together too. They always find a way of showing it. I'm surrounded by dozens and dozens of beautiful birds making beautiful sounds. I'm going to enjoy these sounds for a few more minutes and then I'll show you how to make a clay whistle with a beautiful note. Okay, here are the step-by-step -step instructions for how to make a whistle. In today's lesson, we're going to use a pinch technique, a basic hand-building technique to create a pinch pot. You know how to make slabs, and we'll make a small slab to create a lid. That lid is going to be scored and slipped to expose edges and we will join it to the roughened edges of the pinch pot to establish a lid and a container with space and air within. Once we've scored and slipped the underside of the slab and the rim of the pinch pot, we'll join them together to form a lidded bowl. To create the airway for our whistle, we're going to attach a small stem on the top rim of the outside of the bowl. The rim might look like a short handle or a thumb coming off the side of the pinch pot. We want to create an airway coming in that thumb and opening up the space, the chamber inside the pinch pot, so that when we blow into the stem, into the airway, we get a note. From above, our lidded bowl looks like this. The stem is attached to the side and the space inside needs to be open. I realize that this can look a little bit tricky when you're trying to make do at home. If your project doesn't go perfectly, that's okay. We can always fix it up when you get back to school. Or underneath the lid. In profile, it's going to look like this. In profile, the popsicle stick fits underneath the lid and comes through the center of the tongue and open up, opens up the air chamber within the pot. Now we have an air passageway that comes through the tongue into the chamber and under the lid of the pot. In profile, it will look like this. Let's make a vertical hole just inside the rim of the bowl that lines up with the tongue as it enters the chamber. What? From above, you can see there's a small hole just inside the inner rim of the thickness of the bowl. It goes right through the lid and accesses or intersects with the airway. You can use a pencil or whatever clay tool you have at your disposal to make that hole a round hole about the thickness of a pencil and into the chamber below. If this hasn't been tricky enough so far, we're going to make it a little bit trickier because we're going to cut a reed. The reed is an angular cut of the back edge 
of the circle that is the hole that comes through the lid and into the chamber. We're going to make that angled cut so that the air that comes in the airway will hit that reed and split the air current in half, with half the air going above the reed, half below the reed, and the air that enters the chamber will resonate with a note. It's also important to take the edge of that reed and push it into the path of the air that comes in through the airway. So when you blow here, the air comes in and hits. The reed really is the tricky part, and you might need a specialized tool, like a very thin knife, to make that angled cut, but it is important because it's essential to making the note. So the idea here is that when you blow with your lips through the airway, the air hits the reed, some of it rises above the reed, some of it stays in the chamber, and the result is a musical note. That sound came from this whistle. There's the reed there, and there's a hole in the back. The hole will give you an additional note. If you put an additional hole near the back of the bowl and cover it with your finger and alternately uncover it, you can get that second note. So that's how you build a whistle. It can be a little bit tricky, but I'm here to help you. I've enjoyed listening to the tropical birds. It helps us to appreciate how beautiful the notes are that will come from our whistles. And whistles are tricky, so just remember that when you want to do this, you want air coming in here to blow up there, go around here and around there, and then the second note will come out the whole Let me talk to you for a minute about the tools that you're going to need to create your whistle. You only need three tools. They're simple tools, and we have them in the classroom. You're not in the classroom right now, so after I describe the tool, I'll suggest an alternative, and maybe we can make a reasonable substitute for that tool with the things that you have at home. First of all, you need a short knife with a longish blade. Something that's not too wide, it needs to come to a good point. This knife is used for creating the hole in the lid that lines up with the end of the airway. It cuts through a fair thickness of clay, and for that reason you want it to be a long blade that doesn't create a hole with a huge diameter. You also need a tool that looks like this. This tool is a curved blade that comes to a point. The edges are sharp, so it works like a scoop. That scoop can go in here and clean out the hole and the clay that's left after the cut. It's for making that hole crisp and round. You also need a popsicle stick, and maybe a humble popsicle stick you might have at home. The thing about popsicle sticks is you either have a hundred of them or you have none. So hopefully you have one. The popsicle stick will create the airway through the stem and in line with the hole that you just created. So it will sit under the edge of the rim and help you create that airway. Now, reasonable substitutes. If you don't have a knife like this with a long blade, have a look in the kitchen. You might have something close. Perhaps you have a paring knife, something that is used to remove the skin off of fruits and vegetables. It could look something like this, or it could look something like that. That could be a pretty good fit. If you don't have any of those things, remember in your kit you have a kebab skewer that comes to a, ni a nice point at the end, and you have a shorter skewer that's a little bit thicker, and this skewer could be sharpened and turned into some kind of knife. Those are possibilities. If you don't have a popsicle stick, well, run up to the washroom, the bathroom upstairs. There will be a, a drawer there where you'll find an emery board. An emery board is like a popsicle stick. It's a little bit shorter, a little bit thinner. It's rough because it's used for shaping nails. It feels like sandpaper, but it'll do the exact same thing that your popsicle stick will. It would fit in the same way. 
emery boards for your popsicle sticks. This tool is a little bit more challenging, but as long as you're upstairs in the bathroom, have a look for a nail kit. A nail kit has a bunch of helpful tools in it, especially a nail file. A nail file has a curved end, much like the blade on this tool. This could be helpful, a fairly reasonable substitute. There's all kinds of funny stuff in here. Who knows what this is for? But it, it could also help you clean out that hole. One end is like a little spoon, the other end comes to something of a point. Anyway, if you find one of those, it's a gold mine. Just make sure you wash those things and close up the kit and slide it back in the drawer before your mother knows that it's missing. This is a bit of a tricky project. It's a lot of fun. Don't get frustrated by it. If you make your whistle and then you try to blow a note and it doesn't work, Keep trying for a while, but don't get frustrated. If you can't get it to work, simply wrap your whistle up in damp paper towels, put the whole thing in a baggie, and save it until our class rotation at school. When you bring your whistle, I'll be happy to help you make a note. We'll get it to work, I'm positive. In the meantime, enjoy it. See what you can do, problem solve for yourself, and you'll feel the reward of getting your whistle to work. Enjoy it and have fun.